Mitch McConnell shows how low he will go. In a contentious interview with Axios writer Jonathan Swan on Thursday, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell was grilled about where he draws his moral red lines, and he made it apparent that he doesn't have any. Axios Jonathan Swan asked McConnell what his moral red lines are, and McConnell declined to answer. When challenged about the inconsistency of stating Trump is accountable for one-sixth, but yet saying he would support Trump if he were the Republican nominee in 2024, he sounded insulted. Swan remarked that McConnell is known for his ruthless style of politics and questioned the top Senate Republican, where do you draw your moral red lines? I didn't know where I was known for playing a brutal style, McConnell scoffed at the question, adding, my wife believes I am a really nice guy. Following a brief yet amusing exchange that elicited laughs from the audience, Swan doubled down, let's just take as a premise, and I think the audience might agree with me, that there are some people, some substantial people who might agree with that assertion. So, moral red lines, where do you draw them? Swan pressed again, as the interview progressed, the tone became increasingly serious. Um, I am perfectly comfortable with the way I have conducted my political career and I'd be happy to respond to any specificity to the term, what was it, responded McConnell. Moral red lines, Swan replied. Well, I am very comfortable with my moral red lines, added McConnell. Let me give you a particular example, continued Swan who then asked McConnell about his speech in which McConnell spoke very powerfully against the most powerful figure in your party, referencing McConnell's February 2021 condemnation of Donald Trump following the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. Swan quoted McConnell's remarks the day which included saying Trump was morally responsible for the January 6th riot and committed a disgraceful dereliction of duty. He asked him, how to go from saying that to two weeks later saying you would absolutely support Donald Trump if he is the Republican nominee in 2024. McConnell responded by saying he believes he has an obligation to support the nominee of his party. Swan pushed McConnell, saying he can't understand the inconsistency in those positions. McConnell strongly pushed back and cut off Swan, saying, I don't get to pick the Republican nominee for president, they are elected by the Republican voters. I fully understand that. Take Liz Cheney for example, Swan replied, before McConnell cut him off and asked, you want to spend some more time on this as well. Swan then noted Cheney, RWI, and McConnell shared the same view of Trump's culpability for January 6, but that Cheney is actively working to keep Trump from returning to the White House. Well, maybe you ought to be talking to Liz Cheney, shot back McConnell. Swan, making his signature befuddled facial expression, replied, no, but it's not a gotcha. I am just actually trying to understand is there any threshold for you? McConnell jumped in and concluded, well, I am sure I say many things people do not understand. At the end of the interview it is very clear that Mitch McConnell has no moral red lines and will do anything for power.